Oh God, it's amazing I can find anything in this room anymore. Oh. Oh. How you doing guys? It's old guy Jim here. Um, I think I got the camera angled right. I have no idea. I can't see the other side of it and I have no screen face to me. But um, anyways, I haven't made a video in a while because financially I haven't been able to hang on any money really. And uh, I need $6,500 to uh, finish my car and that's this money starting to come hard will you stop licking my leg Mitzi come on stop that Mitzi stop licking me just go sit down for a minute anyways um, there's a couple things I'm going to talk to you about um, in my last video I ordered the the Willwood six piston calipers and the 12.2 inch I, I guess they advertise as 12.19 inch rotors um you know they were they were just a little, a little under a thousand for that kit and uh i've already sold them um well would site claims that they can fit in inside of some 15 inch wheels that ain't never going to happen um i did a lot of test fitting with uh, my buddy's wheels whoever wheels i could find it was willing to take them off their car and uh, with it, with the uh, now the, the the disc will fit inside the um, you know the inside of the rim, but the uh, caliper, absolutely not. I would I would have been forced to run 17s on, on my um, EJ, and uh, that that just looks fast and furious. We're not going there. So, anyways, I kept the uh, the rears. Of course, they're fine for what I need, and I want to do a little bit of talking about tail lights. Um, I ordered some off eBay. And had um, had a few arguments with people on eBay, and uh, I'll explain that to you. Um, I'll explain that to you why in a minute. Uh, but anyways, yeah, um, this coming Tuesday, I'm calling uh, my buddy Lester. He owns a body shop in Covington, and hopefully, I've been saying this forever. Forever next Saturday, um, I'm supposed to get my car in for paint, and I, I will. I will record that, so you can see the paint go down. And uh, I'm looking for, you know, a good paint job, not a SEMA show. That's not necessary. Just, uh, I got the uh, two big boxes behind me right here. I'm sure I've explained that before. They got my full paint kits in them. You know, I got, I got everything that I need. Mixing cups, I have everything. Anyways, what I want to talk to you about real quick is what I had an argument with many on eBay about is, is taillights. Okay. Uh, 92 to 95 hatchback I have never owned that car I've never I've never owned I've never owned a 95 hatchback therefore I've never had a pair of taillights you know a, a set of taillights from one so what I have here on the table is from a four-door and from a two-door now on eBay they're saying they advertise their taillights as fits two-door and four-door I don't see how. Um, after this one guy listened to me, um, he sells tail lights regularly, um, used and brand new. You know the the red and the red and clear ones or what have you. Um, he finally pulled down everything off his site because he found out the same thing that I told him that he argued with me about. Let me show you the difference. Now these tail lights here, one's off a of two door, one's off a of four door, 92 to 95. They're all the same. Um, I'm going to physically show you the difference between a two-door and a four-door. Okay, these are these are one's a coupe, one's a sedan. So for anybody that tells you that that they'll swap with each other, no, they they don't. I physically tried these on my car. So let me explain to you. You look at these for yourself, and look at the height difference already. Mitzi, move. Look at the height difference in these tail lights. This one's much taller. It's like, it's like uh, almost a half inch taller. Also, this opening back here. M Mitzi, will you stop? Sorry, guys. That's my dog harassing me. Go on. Go sit down. Okay, I'm going to try to hold this still. This opening here and the bolt placements are totally different from the four-door. See, see how much larger it is? That's off a 92 to 95 sedan EJ chassis. This is off a 92 to 95 coupe. Do you not see the difference? Because everybody wants to argue. No, this is not off a hatch. I've never owned one. I bought a sedan for a parts car. 
And before I got rid of it, I took the taillights off thinking, because they were so nice, thinking they would fit my car. Absolutely not. Also, physically, you can see how they're different. Well, let me turn them around for you. I'm just making this so you guys don't ever get in trouble when you order lights. Look at the difference in this step right here. I should have some more light on it, but let me see. I'm going to grab my light real quick. Hold on. See if I can brighten them up so you can see them better. There we go. Let's see if that helps. Yeah. yeah. There you go. It looks the same to you? They don't swap. I tried this sedan on my coupe. It's an absolute no-go. Won't even, won't even fit into it at all. Not even close. So when I see them advertised on eBay and they, they claim their taillights fit four-door and two-door, no, they don't. So they're uh, wickedly different. Completely. Even the outside shape is different. This, these ones come down to more of a point, And you can see these is a little bit taller. A little bit taller out there. They do not fit. They don't fit. So I ordered a, um, I looked on eBay and found the, the, the cleanest set of uh, four door, ta oh, sorry, of two door tail lights I could find. And um, I was really lucky. I found a, uh, I found a set off of, I'm trying to make it so my phone doesn't make that noise. I found a, a, a complete set off of, off of a coupe the guy had up for sale. I got all four of them for $89. And they're absolutely perfect. I was so happy to get them. They're right here in this box. I'm trying to keep them protected because they're so old. You know how brittle they get. And uh, they got the back pieces on them. Nothing, nothing's broke. There's suit not none of the lenses are even barely scratched up at all, which I can buff right out. And uh, the the reverse is really clear. You know the clear spot in them. But they are super nice. I'm, I'm not going to pull them all out. They're all in that box. They're all in that box and uh, you know, both corners and both trunks. So let me get back in here. Oh, ow. Yep, dogs everywhere. Ha! So let me mention one more thing here. Now, as far as the, the light that mounts on the trunk, the trunk part, these are the same. Four door, two door, these will swap on the trunk. That's that's not a problem. They have the same they have the same everything. Bolt pattern, the little pin right there. Let me see if I can see it there. That little that little black pin right there that fits in the trunk. That that's all the same. This one here is actually off of a off of a four door. This one is. So let me take this screw off. Let me get this screw off. Give me a second here. Should have had these off before. This is off a sedan. I took this off a green '94 sedan I had. And here's my coupe trunk. Oh, wrong side. Okay, hold on. Don't make a liar out of me, okay? Oh, what, I can't find the pins? Oh, I got another bolt on it. Sorry. Ha! Ah, my bad. Let me get that bolt off there. Okay. That'll be better. <laughs> now remember, these are off, these are off a 94 uh, four-door sedan. And this is my coupe trunk lid. Have I got another bolt? Oh, there we go. Okay, there they go. Okay, there it is. They fit. They fit just perfect. They're flush. They fit right in. Just like my two door. Just like my two door lens does. It doesn't stick up or out anywhere. Even though I don't have it tightened in. It's um, that fits. It's just the corner lights, you know, out here that continue. Four doors won't won't fit. They did. They just won't. So I know everybody's out there is probably saying right now, "Oh yes, they do swap. They do swap." And, you know, I'm physically showing it to you right here on the table, and I'm telling you, you know, obviously I know my Hondas. I've never owned a um, hatchback. You know, an EG hatchback. So that's not where that tail light came from. That corner light right here. This came off of the uh, four-door that I had and this is off my two-door so you can physically see the difference in the videos so if you go to order online be sure that you um, are aware that the outside corner lights you know unless they you know there's no way I can't see that they can find a way to get past it 
because the light is physically you know taller it's it's physically different shaped you said this stuff down in here I'm trying to keep this stuff safe just in case I have an accident with my new ones that I bought that are like I said in here I got all four taillights for $89 off of eBay which I'm very happy about my my s my what is that called s s4c hydro transmission is right there I got all the synchros and everything for it and the, the um, I got the uh, quiff LSD that's all in that box way down there like I said everything for the car you know most everything I need for the car is uh, is in here you know I got my boost controller up on the wall you know I got uh, I got pretty much everything but what I'm lacking now is uh, getting it painted getting the Lexan windows in and uh, I might as well just throw this away it's broken broken right off on the corner right there it was when I got it but yeah I'm just uh, um, what do I got to finish on the car I need I need a fuel tank I want to get that F FCR fuel tank the five gallon um, I still I still got to get wheels and tires I got to put the Lexan windows in um, I need an, uh, I need to make another $700 order from uh, Honda OEM there's a lot of parts I need from them and uh, Anyways, everything and everything, the seats, you know, stuff like that. Every everything that I have, it's a long list, adds up to six five hundred. And uh, could I go cheaper? Yeah. You know, what's the FCR fuel tank weigh? I think they say like eight pounds. Stock fuel tank is thirty three. And uh, anyways, to get a better uh, visual on the staging brake set that, from Willwood, I wanted to show you these since I have them off the car now. That's the one I want to get out. I think so. Let me get this out for you. Get some light over here. There we go. These are such a cool little little brake. They look like they're off a motorcycle, honestly. But they come with a piece of paper in the center to keep the uh, pads from falling together, like that. But um, they got two bleed screws on the, you know, on both ends. They have this one mounts. Let me put this back in there. I don't want the pistons moving. This one mounts this way on the back. And clamps the rotor but um they are tiny there's where your uh, brake line goes but and, and they, they don't weigh they don't weigh anything they're, they're they're really cool looking when you have them in your hand they're awesome I like them a lot you know they'll make it they'll make a great uh, stage and brake caliper and I'll set that aside and since I have the rotors off I'll grab one of them out for you give me just a second I'll grab us a rotor here Go. Yeah, it comes with the uh, comes with the brackets that mount the. Uh, they're hard to see. Yeah, yeah, you can see it. Yeah, it comes with the brackets to mount those calipers onto your uh, rear. You got to have a uh, you know the the disc uh, the disc spindle in the rear to uh, mount these up. It won't work with with a with a drum spindle in the back, obviously. And it came with brake lines, which. Um, I think they go in. The, I think they go in the stock mounting spot. I'm not really sure. I haven't hooked any of that up yet. Oh, and the rotor. Let me grab that. God, here's the rotor. I don't really want to take it out of the bag, but they are. Well, I guess I can. they are super, super thin. <laughs> really, don't think you could daily these. So. I don't know if I could if I could find a proportioning valve that was uh, they're really light too they don't they don't really weigh anything. If I could find a proportioning valve that was like 80 20, I could probably dial in, but I, there's nothing past 60 40 that I can find. That entire brake kit there. I'm not sure if this is my receipt or just instructions. Uh, packaged by Austin Forstein. It gives you a packing list of everything that was in the in the bag you know but oh and um like i said i sold those uh i sold those 12 those uh 12.2 inch rotors i did sell them already and um i took a guy in california bought them i won't say his name i'm not sure if he wants me to or not but um i sold them took a loss on them of course and i ordered from real street performance the only place i'll ever order from I ordered the 10.3-inch uh, uh, DPHA. DPHA. Yeah, I think it's called DPHA. Yeah, pretty sure it is. 
10.3 uh, rotors slotted and drilled and the calipers are four piston and uh, comes with comes with pads and all that they haven't arrived yet oh let me tell you a story about that um they were supposed to arrive on the 18th and um i got confirmation on my email that they were dropped off on the 18th so they were shipped and dropped off at my house except they didn't drop them off at my address they dropped them off at somebody else somebody else's address there's 15 houses on heidelberg road that's the road i live on so obviously the fedex driver dropped them off on Heidelberg Road at somebody else's address. I went to every single house on my road and talked to every single residence and they said, oh, we haven't seen them. Somebody's lying. They're, uh, they showed up. They're not, they're not coughing them up. So I made a claim with FedEx. Um, Real Street Performance ins insured them, which was a smart thing to do. Insured the brakes. Uh, they said if we can't find them, they're gonna send me out another, another set. I really hate to see uh, see uh, Real Street take a loss like that. That's that's pretty uh, that's pretty sad, and it's pretty pathetic that some meth head has probably got my brakes somewhere, or somebody with a drug problem that thinks they can you know turn a dollar on them. That's my guess, anyways. Why wouldn't they return them? Why wouldn't they return them? I went to every house, and uh, they're just they're just not there. So I just wanted to share that with you that um that the 12.2 uh, inch, you know, the big brake kit, if you're not gonna run 17s, they, I don't even think they'd fit inside 16s. I honestly don't, they're, they're huge. So, oh, also the uh, um, body parts, from, from what I know, what I learned when I had my four door here, the, uh, um, the mud flaps, they'll switch with, with the coupe. Uh, the front fenders and hood wouldn't, wouldn't swap onto my coupe. The front bumper does. The rear bumper does. But the front fenders were totally different shapes. Uh, the hood was either, I can't remember if it was too short or too long. But uh, it didn't line up at all either. So I didn't have any luck with that. And uh, obviously the taillights, no. The headlights, yes, the headlights swap. They fit. Uh, the corner marker, the co you know, your front blinker, corner marker lights, I, I don't remember. I don't, I don't think they, no, because of the shape of the fender, I don't think they did. So if you ever have any questions about what will swap, I, you know, I've, I've checked a lot of stuff, just ask me and I can probably give you a good answer. Or I can give you a good guess from what I remember. And like I said, my memory's kind of cooked. <clears throat> um, I need to raise money. I gotta get this car done. And uh, this is my cancer still in remission, as I, as I told you before. And uh, yeah, I gotta get this done. I gotta get it done. I gotta get it done. I'm exhausted. I'm just, I'm mentally, I'm mentally worn out more than physically. Just mentally stressed over, over a lot. I hope I'm talking loud enough. Um, anyways, um, hopefully we're going to paint on the 27th. I just got to get my ass down there. I got to get down there. And uh, that's about it. Just want to share the info with stuff with you. What, you know, about the tail lights. That, that's kind of important. Um, so on, if you're on eBay and you see, you know, see someone claiming, hey, these aftermarket taillights fit two-door, four-door, I don't see how, because I, I couldn't get them to switch. And I'm pretty damn sure 92 to 95, all the chassis are the same. Absolutely. So, yeah, be very, uh, be very cautious that when you order taillights. You know, even used ones, you know, they don't, they don't fit. They don't, they don't switch. The inside one does, like I said, on the trunk lid itself, but not the uh, rear quarter quarter lights they don't so okay that's it i'm not going to bore you anymore i'm going to go ahead and post this and hope it uploads in, in inside of 17 hours because my reception is so bad out here but i just wanted to get with you guys and let you know what's up because i haven't made a video in quite a while and uh, get you up to date on stuff so all right i appreciate you coming by like subscribe all that good stuff and uh, if you want send me money <laughs> all right guys it's good seeing you and we'll talk to you all again very soon.